Welcome to South End on Sea. This video has been shot using my Toshiba uh, Camellio Digicam and my Silvercrest action camera and the journey starts on a train journey from the shore to the end of the pier. The railway is a single track railway with a passing place in the centre. It lasts for just, oh it's about 10 minute journey. Um, it's over a mile long and uh, uh, it uh, feels like being way out to sea when you look back at South End. Pier has a checkered history. Lots of things um, have happened to it. It's been, uh, it's caught fire. It's been hit by various boats. Um, the end is completely burnt out at one point, and now it's been restored. And there's a cafe and uh, conference centre there. At the end of the pier, you can look right back and see the train approaching. Um, there's uh, one named after John Betjeman and this one isn't. <laughs> I don't know what this one's called till it gets closer. I think I was on the John Betjeman one. But the train comes right out to the end of the pier and in the background you can hear all the children because at this time of the year uh, the children from London schools um, come to South End as uh, a destination for a end of term um, break because uh, it's full of amusement parks and lots and lots of things for them to do. So I'm now on the end of the pier and the train is uh, just approaching. Um, and uh, I think everyone is set to have a good time today. So that's really um, South End Pier. And you can see South End in the background uh, and lots of things going there. So yeah, it's a really... Um, Really wonderful journey on a good day. I can imagine what it would be like on a wet and stormy day. Probably wouldn't come out here at all. But um, yeah, we're on the end now of uh, South End Pier. Um, and uh, looking back the, uh, at the shoreline, which does seem an awful long way away. I'm actually on the end of the longest pier in the world. Um, 1.34 miles long and it's based at South End. John Betjeman once said um, South End is the pier and the pier is South End. I think that's all he said about South End really. But um, I thought I might share this with you. Um, I'm up here just for a, a couple of days and uh, I thought I might like to share the pier with you. Um, so a few shots now of the pier and of course the wonderful wonderful train that goes all the way from here into South End. The pier is this long because we're actually in the Thames and the Thames estuary is very tidal and the uh, problem is with that, um, if you didn't have a long pier you'd get very muddy feet getting to the boats. So that's why we've got this one and uh, this, this one over a one mile pier which goes right out into the Thames. So enjoy and I'll get back to you a little bit later. The end of the pier itself doesn't have any amusement arcades anymore, uh, but it has a large decking area and uh, places that people love to come to fish. It has this prefabricated restaurant and education centre which was made down the Thames and floated up by barge to be put on the end of the pier. And also, of course, the lifeboat station is situated here. But let's head back shoreside now and uh, have a look around the actual seafront of South End. Probably the best way to explore the extensive seafront around South End is to take the open top bus. That um, goes from South End on Sea right through to Lee on Sea, which is a pretty little place, um, and you can get shellfish. And various other things there um, and then right back into um, uh, South End on Sea itself. We're now traveling towards South End on Sea and you can see on your left uh, lots of cafes and uh, various things um, on your right obviously the long promenade which is uh, about four miles in length that you can walk along and if you carry on um, walking or driving 
to um, to 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 Thorpe Bay, then you've got another couple of miles to add to that as well. So uh, quite a long walk. So now we're on the bus and we're travelling along uh, the seafront. Um, as you can see on the left, there's some gardens and various other things and, and restaurants. And uh, then we're approaching now the centre, which uh, obviously where the pier goes out. You can just see the pier in the distance there. Um, and the, some of the buildings in, uh, in uh, South End on the left-hand side coming up. So there we go, we're just on the bus. Um, some pretty flower beds and some nice things to look at there. So, okay, I'll shut up for a minute and uh, let you enjoy. Right, we move on a bit now and we're actually going through the centre or the sea front centre of uh, South End on Sea and uh, lots of things here on the um, on the left hand side there's lots more shops and amusement amusement arcades and on the right there's quite an extensive fun fair um, but by the entrance to the pier so we are coming into the noisy bit I like to call it now uh, of South End on Sea and uh, Olympia and various other amusement things guaranteed to uh, help you lose your money and as we move along the front here um, lots more bars and uh, uh, other um, amusement areas um, and we're moving up to one of the iconic buildings in South End on Sea which is the Kurzel. Now the Kurzel um, means in German Cure Hall um, and loosely adapted it, uh, it means place of healthy amusement. Uh, how true that was I don't know um, but it was built in 1901 and is a grade 2 listed building um, there was a pleasure park with it, but that's long closed. So now we're left just with the, with the domed building. It was uh, very famous in its time, um, and uh, you can just see it coming into view now. Um, I believe coming into view now. Yes, it's uh, just behind that lamppost there, the domed building. Um, in, in the uh, 1970s, it was a, a dance hall, an ice rink. Um, bands that played there were Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, Thin Lizzy, Queen and ACDC. Um, in actual fact, uh, the ACDC album Let There Be Rock actually has a picture of the Curzel on its sleeve cover, so there's something to look out for. So there's the Curzel today. It's um, uh, a shadow of its former self. After a multi-million pound refit, it reopened in 1998 and now contains a casino um, and other amusements there and there's also a bowling alley there as well so at least it's in use uh, but a shadow really of what it used to be in the heydays of um, 70s music okay let's carry on along the front now and uh, see what else we can find before our trip comes to an end We're now moving back towards the, the pier and uh, the main funfair centre of South End on Sea. There's lots of areas there, the kids uh, um, paddling fountains and uh, um, some ornamental uh, statue lights which look really nice at night when they're lit up and um, a wide promenade which is, which is really nice. And, uh, Unfortunately, the beach the other side is, is, uh, is in so many areas around here. It's a pebble beach, um, but that doesn't deter people putting a blanket down and sitting on it. Um, and uh, it, um, it's, it's quite a nice place to be. And uh, with that pier going out there, um, it, 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 there's some pleasant views as well. So now coming back towards the centre, um, there is a brand new ride that the amusement park now has, which is pretty scary, um, but uh, I'm not going to catch me going on that. So we're now coming back to where we, um, to the centre where I started the bus ride, and um, we can see parts of the uh, Pleasure Island amuse amusement park uh, on the left there. And, um, 
well, I don't know what else I've got to say about it. This is South End on Sea, and uh, it has something really um, for for most people. Um, it's within easy reach of London, and uh, it's quite a pleasant place to be at the right time of year. Um, so, thank you. Well, that's it. It's been an interesting day in South End, and the pier, as you can see in the background, um, is, as I say, over. It's the longest pier in the world. It's over one mile each way. I must admit, today I didn't walk both ways. Um, at my age, I caught the train, which I, I need my energy. So, um, but I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, next time, I will go back to a tech video. Um, but I would like to thank all my subscribers for liking uh, and, and all my likes that people have given me on my channel. And if you like this video, um, please uh, give me another like. Thank you very much and good night.